Yo guys, how's it going and welcome back to our Rainbow Six Siege video. Now today, as you've seen by the title, we are going to be talking about the IQ and Clash glitch. It's recently just been patched and apparently there has been news across my Discord and the other glitches I actually am friends with that the glitches are back but we're not sure to release them or not. Now, in my opinion, I'm not going to release them at all because I think it's that unfair to release them because they got so big last time, I was going into ranked, it was happening too much. Now, don't get me wrong, I did the tutorial on it and everything like that, but we're going to be getting into this a lot later on. But if you are new already, hit that subscribe button, the like button. This is going to be a new little series I'm going to be trying out. Obviously, just with like talking about glitches, talking about the game, patches and whatever. But if you are enjoying that type of stuff, then hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications because I'm like loading every single day and why would you not obviously join? But apart from that, let's get into it. I'm um, also, a game just happened where they both got shot at the same time, watch this little clip. Um, look, he's, oh, right then, never mind. But anyway, he shot on the head, he shot on the shotgun, they both died at the same time, but I don't understand because we got the loss for it and now we're 2-0 down, I've got to come bring it back. I came into a casual with already losing 1-0, so stupid. Also, before we do get into it, I just want to say people have been asking for the vlog type of video when I do go away. I'm happy to do it. I've been looking at stuff. My phone, obviously, because I've got the latest iPhone, does actually support that. So that would be really interesting. But if you do want it to see it, I think it'd be really cool and fun to do. So I'm happy to do it. Let me know down in the comment section if you want me to do it. And with anything else you want me to do, obviously, in videos. And also the Minecraft series is going to be uploaded daily from now on. Obviously yesterday there was a miss of it. That's pew because I was obviously up edited and uploaded. But I'm ahead of videos now. So obviously I'll be uploading as much as I can. So getting into the actual video. Basically what's been happening is everyone knows that the IQ glitch and the Clash glitch were in the game. Now don't get me wrong. They were super OP and everyone was getting purely frustrated by them. Don't get me wrong. I was as well. I pay ranked and I know I did show a tutorial on it. But I did say that you don't do it in ranked. I know it's thing, obviously, people will do it in ranked, but I don't force anyone to do anything in the game, obviously, because I can't force anyone to do anything. So, with that said, so much stuff did happen, and it was really OP. Now, as we do know, the Clash glitch did happen as well. Originally, it was just obviously, like, his shield being there, but for you, it wasn't, and all that type of, like, palaver and weird stuff. And did I just... Oh, I thought I got killed by someone else then. Never mind, that was really bad of me. But, you know, carrying on. The Clash glitch was super OP, obviously it showed like it was just like the barbed wire with no shield. But and then obviously later before it did get patched, which thankfully got patched really quickly, it was literally you could shoot through your shield and the glitch got that OP. Now you gotta think in total that glitch would be too OP to do because if that kept happening, then people would literally just be getting easy kills, obviously with being invincible really. Because at the back of Clash, you weren't gonna get killed at all, which was super OP. Now going into the IQ glitch, it was the same as last time, except this time you weren't in the floor, you were kind of standing up, but you're invincible and kind of floating around. It made it quicker for you to get to places as well as being invincible, and to be fair, it was a very sick OP glitch. Now don't get me wrong, like I said, I've done tutorials on these, but I obviously don't like them to do in games, because I think it's too OP to do them in games, and it's out of order on the people who want to play it fairly. And I also do obviously give any like preventions to anyone obviously who will be coming across that, which we be banning the characters. So do you think that the IQ glitch should have been patched and the Clash glitch should have been patched? I think it is. Some people are going to say it isn't and most majority I think would say it should be. And to be fair, we need to get into another casual period because that was really poor game and I was only in for one round. So unfair. Now guys, we're finding the game where obviously I'm in like an all game where there's been no rounds added. And it's kind of nice because I haven't played Hells as in a casual way before. Um, what do you think of my little setup for obviously Habana? You know, I've got the breach in charge. I know it's so stupid, but obviously they used to have the claim once they took them away from a banner. Annoying, I know. Got the SMG, got the gold skin on it, might chuck the diamond skin on it, you never know. So really, how the glitches did work, it was a series of steps, say for instance for the IQ, it was by placing down your claymore and picking your claymore back up while pulling out your IQ gadget. This obviously glitched out your gun originally. But that wasn't the first step, obviously you had to place down the claymore again, pull out your IQ gadget quickly, and then obviously go and repel up, go upside down, and then from there, after going upside down, wait, what were we actually playing? Yeah, after, sorry, after going upside down, you'd come off and boom, you'd be at an angle and you'd be glitched out. It was super OP, easy to do, and to be fair, it was all about just practice. And as soon as you got the practice in, you were sun. And as soon as you got the practice in, you were literally done and you could carry on doing it. Now for the clash, it was the same thing again, but it was putting down barbed wire while picking up barbed wire at the same time. Sounds confusing, I know, but if you want to know about the glitches and how it did work, obviously they don't work anymore, they're all patched, then go and check out the videos, I don't really mind. But, now obviously because I know how to do the new glitch, do you think it should be released back into the game? Now I will be making a video on it completely and, oh my, 
god, people are still spawn peeking that spot. I didn't think they would be after like so many years. But I will be making a video on it. It won't be necessarily a tutorial. It'll be more just about the glitch, what it looks like, how to prevent it, and obviously everything about it. I will not show a single step on how to do it at all, people, because I think it's that OP. Now, if you do want a tutorial, then I'm happy to obviously unlist it to people and send them the link by my Discord because I don't want to have to make a whole video and spread it widely to the whole YouTube. I'm not all about the views. I'm all about for Rainbow Six Siege and making it better. But guys, what do you think of that? Obviously, the Clash Kitchen as well is back. So what do you think about it? Do you think I should do it that way or do you think I should just do it normally? And how has that Mozzie not died? He just had three blitz into his head. Now, obviously, like I said, my video on it would be a little less OP. And to be fair, I think it would benefit the game a bit more and just be more easy for the game. Because there'll be nothing about it. People have awareness of the glitch, so they'll be obviously aware of it. But no one will know how to do it apart from me and a few other people. Also, what do you think about these type of videos? I'm kind of enjoying them. Like, they're a bit different to do. They're obviously, the new content, different stuff like that. But the spots as well, it adds a series of new content. I'm liking it. Obviously, the series, the gameplay, it's all different. And it's a bit interesting for you guys, I think. And finally as well, I've got some more content as well, I'm going about it. But before I obviously do speak about the content, I just want to say in total of an overview of these glitches. One, the steps are patched, the whole thing has been patched from before. Do you think I should actually release the whole steps about it? Or just show obviously the gameplay of it, what it does look like, and obviously so no one knows apart from me. Doesn't get out into obviously the rank system and ruins people ranked. What do you think about that? Obviously, leave your opinion. I'm also going to have to put a poll as well, which will be in the video somewhere. Obviously, you know, by the information click. So, you can do that. Obviously, it'll be the start of the video throughout. So, you can see and you can vote on what you think I should do. Should I release it or should I not? And then finally, what did you think of the actual glitches before? Do you think they were OP than they were the first time around when obviously my channel did blow up a lot by the views? Don't get me wrong, the views did blow up a lot and I was really happy about it, but I wasn't entirely fussed about it because I've had views like that before and it's good. And why did I just get shot in the head? Really, this is why no one pays casual. Why would, why would you do that? God. Right, anyone on Xbox, go and message this person, I'm the OP boss, and just say, what is wrong with you? Why team kill and casual? It's so annoying. I just want to play and make the video, because now I have not played a single round and actually got any kills while playing. This is so sad. Now, in total, that is it. But now for the new content. The vlog may be happening, obviously, when I do go away in a few weeks. More gameplay. There's going to be more spots. I know you guys did subscribe for the glitches. But, obviously, a lot of people aren't liking the glitches. And where I've been uploading spots, there's been better feedback, more positivity about it. And I don't, obviously, appreciate the hate all the time. And that's fair enough. But with that said, that is going to be the video. If you did enjoy this type of video, hit the like button. Obviously, before everyone does dislike it, this will be obviously put on dislikes and likes being taken off. People because people will see the title of the video and just dislike it straight away. I know what people are like. I understand why they would dislike it. People because the title will probably be clickbait. But apart from that, that is going to be the video. If you did enjoy, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new around here, and also turn on notifications because I upload every single day. And who doesn't want Rainbow Six Siege content every day? And as well, I've got the Minecraft series coming soon, which people are really enjoying. Now, don't get it wrong, obviously, the Minecraft series hasn't got the best of views, but people still enjoy it. But apart from that, that is it, and until next time, see ya. Ten seconds. Five seconds and counting. Be advised, Op 4 has found a bomb. Op 4 has located a bomb. Be ready for hostile action. Op 4 found a bomb. You must defend it. Deploying ABS! Standing. 
Administering aid. Friendly injured. Watch your fire! Friendly's close! Tango located. Up. 